everybody, welcome to Dave's World. Uh, I'm doing things a little bit different today. I'm hanging out at East Coast Supercharging and what I wanted to do was bring my subscribers along with me to show them what it's like to put a supercharger kit onto a Corvette. I'm not specifically showing how to do a kit though I would normally do things like that on the channel. But what I wanted to show today was the factory Corvette on the dyno showing a completely stock Corvette, the horsepower that it makes. I wanted to show the supercharger kit and kind of it going in the car and then I wanted to show the kit installed and then the car on the dyno to show you the kind of horsepower that that supercharger kit makes on the car. I thought that would be a fun experience and I wanted to put it into one video. Uh, I haven't had a chance to show you guys one of my supercharger builds but at least I could show you a supercharger build on a car that typically comes into East Coast supercharging and within a day later it's making you know 150 to 200 more horsepower than stock. It's awesome. I love superchargers. And uh, the great thing about them is it doesn't take away drivability on the car, which is why I'm such a huge fan of them. So sit tight, we're gonna have an awesome dyno run, then I'll show you the work being done, and then we'll have another dyno run in the end, and that's my favorite part. That's what I'm waiting for. But before I play this video for everyone, don't forget to turn on your notifications so you can see some future updates on my channel whenever I post them. Thank you again, everybody. Hopefully you enjoy. Okay, so you guys just saw the footage of the C7 in its stock form. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna run over and show you guys the supercharger kit and show you the car being worked on and then we're gonna cut back over to uh, the car back on the dyno after the kit's been installed. Okay, so we showed you guys what the kit looks like outside the car. What we're gonna do in a couple minutes is we're gonna get the car in the dyno room. I'm gonna show you guys the kit installed in the car, and then we're gonna run the car on the dyno to see what kind of horsepower the car makes. That's the exciting part. One of the reasons I personally like superchargers is other than hearing a little bit of a supercharger whine and maybe a recirculating valve, the car drives exactly the way it did when it came from General Motors. Even though it drives the same, when you go full throttle, you gain horsepower as if you had a larger engine in the car without taking away drivability. I know nowadays you could literally hook a computer up to a car and get more power, but this is a way that once you add a power adder, you throw the computer on, you could actually gain as much power as an engine that's double the size of the engine in your car. And basically every Corvette I've ever owned has had a supercharger on it. You know, I usually do the work myself, but I don't trust my own tuning ability, so I always come to Doug and East Coast Supercharging to have them do the drivability and full throttle part of it for me. I could do basic stuff, but at the end of the day, I still like to know how much horsepower my car has. So once we get the car in here, we'll see what kind of power it makes, and then I'll talk to you guys later on in my shop so we can go over the stuff we saw.
So I said after I was done shooting all that footage, I was going to talk to you guys when we got back to my shop. Uh, I wanted to go over that video. So that video actually took a couple days to film. I had to keep going up the East Coast Supercharging to film each stage of the project. So I went up there the first time to get the car on the dyno to show what it made stock. Then I went up there while they were installing everything. I couldn't quite get the footage of the entire installation because uh, they have a business to run and I don't want to be in the way. So I grabbed what I could. And then I was able to go back on another day and get some cool footage of Doug warming the car up, then getting on the dyno and showing the kind of horsepower the car made. I didn't quite want to show in this video how to install a supercharger. I mean, there's many videos out there on many YouTube channels showing how to do something like that. I wanted to show my subscribers what a supercharger can do to a car. Uh, it was really cool uh, seeing from beginning to end uh, the kind of work involved and then being able to see a bolt-on kit be tuned by a computer and generate an additional 150 wheel horsepower. The cool thing is that same kit if you put a smaller pulley and some meth injection, you throw the computer back on, uh, you can get upwards of 250 wheel horsepower, which I think is amazing, and that's why I like superchargers. I like having the ability to have a car drive like factory, but then be much faster when you put your foot to the floor. Uh, let me show you my car real quick. I wanted to give you a little bit of perspective. So the supercharger that you saw at East Coast Supercharging is centrifugal. It sits down here on the engine. Uh, it's offset to the engine and it runs an intercooler in the front of the car and it actually cools down the air before it goes into the engine. This is a Roots type supercharger. I'm running a smaller pulley with meth injection. Uh, this car is actually uh, fully street legal with catalytic converters and the stock exhaust system, but I'm still producing 13 pounds of boost and the horsepower increase is amazing on this. I love it, but if I were to use this car for racing, I would have intake temperature problems. The centrifugal style supercharger with the intercooler system uh, actually cools the intake charge down and if you were to run a smaller pulley with methanol and where that supercharger is located the intake temperature is much lower and you increase your horsepower uh, pretty high on that style of supercharger so that would be a better supercharger for uh, for basically uh, a lot of race applications I wanted to show you guys the difference between the two because a lot of people don't even know what a supercharger looks like let alone know that there's more than one Turbochargers are another power adder you can put onto a car. Now the reason turbochargers are very popular is when you get to the high horsepower applications, running a supercharger up to like 20 or 30 pounds of boost uh, can be difficult because you get a lot of belt slip. So a lot of people switch over to turbochargers because you do not deal with belt slip anymore, but then your new problem is back pressure and under hood temperatures. So there's pros and cons to everything. Uh, if you're building a street car, a roots type supercharger is fine. If you're building a street car where you go to the track and use it on the road as well, you know, a centrifugal supercharger might be better for you because it has a little bit of both worlds. And if you're building a straight drag car or a straight race car, a centrifugal or turbocharger would be a better application for you. I am not a professional. I do not own a shop. Uh, so my advice is based on my life experience. Other people out there might think differently. And if there's something that I missed or, or something that you think is incorrect that I'm saying, or you agree with me, please comment below. I love the comments. I like constructive criticism. And even when I get something wrong in my videos, I like it if someone lets me know what I said wrong so I can learn from it as well. Some people that I talk to now are my subscribers that are becoming pretty good friends who are teaching me things that I never knew before. So if there's something I don't know, just let me know. I, I really appreciate the feedback. Uh, so thanks for checking out Dave's World. Hopefully you guys like this video. And hopefully you like my channel and I really appreciate everything. And I appreciate you helping my channel grow. I appreciate everyone liking and subscribing and uh, have a very nice day, everyone.